Hey, yo, who likes smoking in the rain? I know I do. See, the government can't fuck with you if you're always just smoking weed. If you've noticed, not a whole lot of bad things happen to you when you smoke weed. So there's a reason they want to keep, they want to have kept it illegal for, you know, since the early 1900s. There's a reason they want to keep weed illegal. And there's a reason they don't want you to take psychedelics. It gets us away from the materialistic consumer culture that we have created in America, which is kind of funny because now they're trying to blame that all on us <coughs> or all the people. Who benefited the most from the consumer culture in America are now flipping it back on the average person who just grew up in this world. Who had nothing to do with the previous generation's issues when it came to the war on drugs, the Vietnam War pollution, global warming, all that. That's not our fault. Now, is climate change real or is it a scam? It's probably mostly a scam, but there's obviously certain you know, like if you cut down a tree in the rainforest, you just cut down a tree in the rainforest. You know what I mean? Like, that's not a scam. Or if you don't plant enough trees around the city, you know, that's something every city can do. Is plant trees on top of skyscrapers. Just, you know green it up a little bit instead of it being a, a city of uh, a concrete jungle you know it's kind of what I like about Madison there's a lot of like just nature around you know humans need to be around nature otherwise you begin to lose touch with your human nature <laughs> need to be around nature if you're looking at you know skyscrapers all day that wasn't made by nature that wasn't made by God that was made by man so yeah we definitely need to protect our planet but the people in charge of protecting our planet like the WEF they're just using that as like a, a crisis because it fits their agenda in what they want to do in the future. They don't give a damn about saving the planet. You know, we were all that kid like growing up wanting to save the earth from pollution and like oil companies, which is good. But you can't, you can't just fall for the, uh, for the tricks that the government and corporations want to fool on people to get them to accept 
a certain system like a green credit score where you're only allowed to drive maybe 50 miles out of your designated area which would be your home or a, or a workplace you know so there's definitely that aspect where that might be good to save the planet but that also could be used by tyrannical governments to kill us and abuse us and turn us into slaves which isn't good I'm not gonna be a slave to any of these people I'm not gonna do what they say I have all my freedoms I have all my rights I live in America even though we might not be the most perfect country we got our freedoms and rights in the US Constitution is an important document for a reason because it allow it, it stops governments from getting too out of control where they feel like they can do whatever they want so yeah like we gotta plant some trees we gotta save the fucking rainforest we definitely gotta do all that you know we gotta protect our planet earth for sure because if we don't protect our planet earth how are we gonna how are we gonna build the next one if we can't if we can't build a good planet here where humans are thriving and happy and and can coexist then how are we gonna live on Mars no we're just gonna start another war on Mars and and then there'll be nobody left on Mars and all that money you put into going to Mars it'll be ruined now nah, little 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 uh, little uh, I don't even know but little scenario like in aliens um that movie I think I think aliens like five or something where they go where uh, the alien goes to the planet and um, it's like a prison planet actually and all the prisoners were sent there to like mine some mineral on there or like yeah just do a bunch of like prisoner work on there so it'd probably end up like that where they just end up killing each other off at the end like or something else happens where they start fighting and uh or like an alien comes I don't even know but yeah sa save this planet cause we gonna need rain I don't want no acid rain from nuclear fallout that suck you can't even go outside when it rains like that won't be cool so yeah I don't wanna see world war 3 happen because these would be like kind of our last moments then <laughs> before shit gets really wild because you don't know if the war will come to the US and no one wants to fight as a citizen against others other countries I don't want to fight against Russia I like Russia I think Russia's cool I don't care what they do you know they got their own thing going and they're not they don't seem that bad but you know they could be better but that's not our country so I don't think the US should be involved in anything to do with Ukraine and Russia is Russia and Putin aren't Hitler like don't compare Putin to Hitler he's just trying to settle a dispute between a neighboring country that has been arguing for years so <laughs> that's like he's not Hitler he's not gonna go further past Ukraine and if he does then that would be an issue but if we escalate tensions then it, it he might be in a war with another country so yeah I, I really don't want to see World War 3 because it's different growing up like reading about it but when it actually happens no one's gonna want to go through this like ain't no no one's gonna want to go through this I promise you that so we can't go to war in Ukraine we can't send American troops and we gotta like stop sending them stuff like I don't want to I, I, I don't want it <laughs> I don't want that smoke okay <laughs>